these two LEDs being driven by an Arduino look pretty much the same to the naked eye, but they're not. Hey, what's happening, guys? We're driving these two LEDs from an Arduino, and to the naked eye, they look relatively the same. But if we come up in here and zoom in, the camera's really going to help us see that the LED on the left is flickering, but the one on the right is steady. And they're both being driven from an Arduino. But what's the difference? Well, we need to examine our Arduino and figure that out. But it's really not that hard to figure out. Your Arduino is a digital device. It can output 5 volts or 0 volts on a pin. Now, you can kind of trick it to output an analog voltage. And that's what you do when you use PWM. So this pin here, number 3, comes over to the left LED. That's a PWM pin, and we're driving it at an analog write value of 127, which is about half. So we should be getting about 2.5 volts. But they're not steady. I mean, you take a look at that, and you can clearly see that flicker. But this LED here on the right is perfectly steady. Now, you can't do that with just an Arduino. It doesn't have a digital to analog converter. So, I've put one in here, and we're going to talk about how to use it today. Alright, so the DAC we're using today is uh, the MCP4901. It's a little 8-pin chip. Uh, pin 1 is your supply voltage, pin 2 is chip select, serial clock, data. This is uh, your latch, uh, ver uh, voltage reference ground, and your output. So now this is an 8-bit DAC. They come in 10 and 12 as well. But for your Arduino, 8-bit is probably just fine. It's rail-to-rail, -rail, which means it can output from 0 to whatever the uh, input voltage is. Which one your Arduino is about 5 volts. It is controlled through SPI, and it has a supply voltage range of 2.7 to 5.5 volts. Which means you can use it with a 5-volt Arduino or a 3.3-volt Arduino, no problem. And the maximum current at the output is plus or minus 25 milliamps. So it can sync or source the current. So here are our pins. Again, number one is supply voltage. Number two is chip select, which on your Arduino Uno or Nano is going to go to pin 10. Uh, pin three is our serial clock. Pin 13 on the Arduino. Uh, four is our data, or that would be our MOSI. Pin 11. Pin 5 is the latch. We're going to talk about that more. Pin 6 is VREF, which I'm putting all the way to uh, 5 volts in this case. Say if you put it at 3.3 volts, that's as high as it'll go. Uh, pin 7 is our ground, and pin 8 is our output. And you can see it hooked up here. And it is outputting that very steady voltage. Let's take a look at it. On the oscilloscope you already know what it's going to look like but we'll take a look at it anyway let me bring the scope over here all right so this is our PWM rotate up here this is really tight pardon me zoom in on that and you can see we're getting, what, 3.5 volts out in a perfect square wave. And then we'll come down here. And we'll go to our DAC controlled pin. And you can see we're getting 3.5 volts out in a perfect DC voltage. Really easy to do. Now, I'm using a library to control this. Because I am not a programmer and I didn't want to go through trying to figure that out. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you the library. All right, here's the library I'm using. It is the DAC MCP49XX library. And it's the XX because you can use it with a, uh, a number of different DACs. Uh, here we go. These are your supported models. 
all the way up to the uh, MCP4922, which is a 12-bit dual deck. And this is by Xscape, who is Thomas Backman of Sweden. The library consists of your two basic parts, the CPP and the uh, .h file. And he tells you here in the setup, I mean, this is all you need. So we need to include a uh, S or SPI library, the DAC library, and then you need to set up the DAC here. There's your constructor. Now all you need to tell it is the model, your chip select pin, and the latch if you're using it. But no setup code is necessary. And then all you need to do is give it a value the same as an analog write. It's really that simple. There's nothing much else to it. In fact, let's go over and have a look at the program that you could see running there on my Arduino. Okay, so this is the code that was running on my Arduino. And this is his example for the single DAC. Again, we have the SPI, we have the DAC. We're doing the uh, SS pin, that's our chip select. There's our constructor. Boom, that simple. Now this stuff is in here um, for other things that you might want to do, but I'm not really using them. Down here you can see it. Here's our loop. That's the entire loop. So I'm doing DAC output 127 and analog write pin 3 127. And you can see they're outputting one is the PWM, about 50% value, and the other is about 2.5 volts or so. About half of our 5 volts from the Arduino. So it is really, really simple. There's just nothing to it. But you can get further into it if you want. You can see if we come down here, there are some more things that you can add. You can uh, shut down the DAC if you need to save power. Uh, if you're using the uh, two channels, then you have output A and output B. Same with the output 2. You can use the latch if you want to. It's not really necessary. But you can see again, it's just incredibly simple. There's not so much you nearly need to do with it. And that's what I love about this. With one simple Arduino command, that DAC.output, I'm able to output an analog value from the Arduino, which could be useful in a lot of different things. If you find that's something useful that you know you need, now you know how to do it, right? I'll put links down below where you can get the library and where you can purchase an MCP4901. I think I paid like between three and five dollars for it, which is you know almost the price of an Arduino. You can get an Uno for uh, what maybe five dollars. You pick up a Nano for three bucks, but you know if you need an analog output, three bucks is not bad. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.